Hi everyone and welcome back to Sweet Treasures by Cindy. A really beautiful day here at Lake Huron in Canada. The waves were coming in pretty gentle and uh, a lot of new rocks to dig through uh, fossils. Close up you're going to see one coming but we're also um, finding beautiful rocks and gorgeous little pieces of shards of beach glass like this I use in projects when I do my floral type patterns and I use them as little leaves. Uh, this was an area that was filled with different fossils but this one I wanted to show you guys as soon as I saw it. It is a deep imprint of I want to say a cladopora but what do you think? I think it's gorgeous the amount of details. Definitely different than what I usually find for Cladopora in this area it has more um, miniature globe type uh, texture in the deep crevices. Uh, taking a good flip over here to see if there was anything else. Yeah, this one was a little curious for me. So I just wanted to see if you knew um, as well, but I'm going with Cladopora at this point. Uh, this was really neat. I thought this was just granite, but I think it's a pudding stone. Lots of pudding stones that were found today. Little ones you'll see later in the video. It's a short video, so it should be coming up soon. But yeah, there's a little bit of jasper and quartz in there. It's definitely not peppered a lot with minerals like some others, but it was still a pretty fine. Showing you the tide line here, the different colors, and taking a look through the clear water is always fun, especially after the winter season and back at the beach. With the salt mines nearby, I've been told that some compressed salt solidifies into um, clusters and turn out that look like this. I don't know if it is someone said do a lick test huh? I'm not gonna lick it so uh, it, I'm gonna say it could be something from the salt mines or it's a quartz pretty pudding stones here I'll see you again on the next video see you soon